Welcome all, this is Madha. Today I am going to show you how we can add two-factor authentication using Google Authenticator in ASP.NET Core MVC application. So here I have created a basic template and this is just the scaffolded template and I haven't added anything here. And uh, if we run our application, then it looks like this right at the moment. So let's head over to the project and then first of all i'm going to use um, i'm going to install the nuget package for sql server so let's install that microsoft dot entity framework core dot sql server and now let's create a connection string here so let's open the terminal from here and apply the migration since the migrations were generated for sqlite database so we need to remove those migrations and create migration for sql server because we changed our database from the one that was scaffolded so So it's running now let's register a new user here now our user has successfully registered but it is asking uh, me to confirm the registration but we can avoid that by setting these uh, options that sign in require sign in that require confirmed account equals false so let's wait for the server to come up and it is starting so let's refresh again oh, now let's try to log in test gmail.com password and we have logged in successfully now if i click on this then we get this screen to manage our user account and from here we can use two-factor authentication now you can click on add authenticator app now we need to generate the qr code and this authentication authenticator app integration process is already integrated in asp.net core and I am using .NET Core 3.0 version so let's generate a QR code and in order to use authenticator app we need to do several other things so let's do them so here I have made a note at first we need to install this package .NET ASP.NET dash code generator globally so let's open the terminal and then install it terminal and i have already installed this package so if you are doing this for the first time then you need to install this now we need to bring in another nuget package here microsoft.visualstudio.web.codegeneration.design so let's bring in that nuget package and we have already installed microsoft.entityframeworkcore.sql server you can also use mysql or sqlite or any other database now we need to generate the file account.manage.enable authenticator and account.login with 2fa since those files are not present here and uh, if we go under the areas identity and page then we see nothing here now we need to generate those files here now let's generate those files and you can see the command to generate those files that we need and then let's hit enter here 
and it should generate the files that we need and now if we go over and click under area then we see the new folder pages and here we can see account and under the account we can see manage and inside the manage we have this uh, enable authentic authenticator.cshtml and login with 2fa.cshtml now the next thing is we need to go over to this url and uh, download the javascript file that uh, we are using to generate the qr code so this is the url you can use and uh, this javascript library helps us to generate the qr code based on the given data and i have already downloaded that here and uh, i'm going to use the qr code.js but you can use qr code.min.js so let's copy this and then put it inside ww root folder and i am putting it inside the lib folder lib and then paste item here and now we're gonna need to reference these and this file to our layout.cshtml so layout.cshtml and then let's reference this a script src qr code.js after that we need this script and this generates the qr code and we need to put this script in our areas pages account manage and enable authenticator.cshtml so I'm going to paste that code here and this is very straightforward here we are using the QR code library and we have an element that was already created generated by ASP.NET Core called DYD QR code and we are going to put that generated QR code inside this QR code element so we have fetched that element here document.get element by the QR code and then the text uh, based on which we want to generate the QR code is available on our model that is html.raw.raw.model.authenticator.uri so this is the piece of information we need to put in QR code so I have used the same thing here and we have given the weight, height and other settings that are needed to generate the QR code according to the JavaScript QR code library and one thing i want to do is i want to remove this a lot here uh, you can just leave it without removing so now after doing this we can go over to our application and then refresh it now if i click under the account name and then go over to the two-factor authentication and click on setup authenticator app then we can see the qr code here now in order to use this authentic in order to set up the two-factor authentication using google authenticator we need to download the google authenticator app from the android or ios so let's do that So this is my app screen and I have already installed Google Authenticator here. You can search by doing Google Authenticator and this is the app that I am using. So I am going to open this app. Open. Now we can remove the account if there are already some added to our authenticator app so the app will look like uh, 
this when you first start it so let's begin and add our app so you can click on this scan a barcode and point uh, the mobile camera to this barcode and it will add our app to the authenticator app so I'm going to do that and then click on add account so our app has successfully added now we need to put this verification code here and this code changes frequently within some interval of time maybe 30 seconds so it is going to expire and we need to wait for the new code so let's put this verification code 128672 and then verify and our authenticator app has been successfully verified and added to this account test at the red gmail.com now from the next time when we log in we need to provide this uh, the code generated by this authenticator app and the user cannot log in without this authenticator app so let's try that login and test at the red gmail.com password and it asks for this authenticator code so if i put invalid code then it won't let me pass and then if i put the correct code six eight five nine six two then it will pass so in this way we can use the google authenticator to integrate two-factor authentication in our mbc ASP.NET Core MVC application and this is a very elegant solution as we don't need to pay for the SMS and it is very secure as it is provided by Google. So this is it for now friend and if you are new to this channel then please subscribe and share and uh, uh, thank you have a great day.